Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, back with another black and white Pokemon upgrade. Today, we're going to be discussing a nice little boost that Sandslash got in this generation, so let's get started. So first off, if you have ever used a Sandslash prior to, you know, this generation, you know that it was primarily used as a defensive Pokemon in one of the lower tiers, I think it was NU. But basically it has a great defense stat with 110 defense and some pretty good HP with 75 HP to work with it. But this generation, Sandslash is one of the few Pokemon that get the ability Sand Throw, which it gets in the Germ Mold. And now if you don't know what this ability is, it's a m ability that increases or doubles your speed, for that matter, when there is a Sandstorm up. Now, there are other Pokemon that can get this, such as Doryuzu, which you're probably more familiar with at this point, and I think Mirando, which is the final evolution of the um, dog, normal dog thing that is in Gen 5. But Sandslash being a ground type and having some really good stab to make war uh, use of, you know, the Sand Throw ability makes it a really good Pokemon to use for Sandstorm. Now, throughout this entire video, I'm pretty much going to be comparing it to Doryuzu and how it has its advantages and disadvantages to Doryuzu. But the first thing is that it has less attack than Doryuzu. It only has 100, in the, 100 attack, but that's still really great for Sandslash. And it only has 65 speed as opposed to Doryuzu's 88 speed, I believe. So it isn't as fast as Doryuzu, and it isn't as powerful. But the fact that it isn't a steel type makes it better, in my opinion, or at least a different, another viable option, in my opinion, because of the fact that Doryuzu suffers from the weakness to um, super effective fighting type moves, such as um, Repulsion using Mach Punch, because obviously that'll have priority and go before Doryuzu, even though it does have Sand Throw. So basically, Repulsion is an amazing counter to Doryuzu. But Rapushin doesn't have that same advantage on Sandslash because it's only a mono ground type. So that makes Sandslash, in my opinion, really good. And also, you know, it has a better defense stat than Doryuzu does, so it can take physical hits a lot better. And other than that, really, though, um, they're pretty much the same Pokemon. And you'll see why with the moveset, which I will show you now. So, first off, we're going to be giving. Um, Sandslash a Jelly Nature to increase its speed but lower its special attack. And then we are going to be using Sand Throw since that is its upgrade that it gets this generation. As for the EVs, it's pretty simple like a lot of the other EVs I've been putting on these upgrades. So we're going to put 4 into HP, 252 into physical attack to give you your highest physical attack possible with a Jelly Nature, and then 252 EVs into speed to give you your max speed possible. As for the item, you could either make use of leftovers or a balloon to make you immune to ground type moves or allow you to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every turn. As for the moveset though, we're going to be putting the first move as Swords Dance as a way to boost your physical attack. Now this is pretty much the same thing that Doryuzu does, so this shouldn't be anything new to you. But Swords Dance will boost your physical attack by two stages, thus doubling it and allowing Sandslash to do a lot of damage with, you know, its high physical attack. With that though, we're going to be using a Stab Earthquake as pretty much your most powerful move to use, Stone Edge as a really good rock type move to use with it, and X Scissor as a way to hit bug types and psychic types and things like that. Now this Pokemon can also make use of um, Return as a powerful normal type move if you need that, or Poison Jab, I believe, as a powerful poison move, and poison is kind of an underrated attack typing, so you could put that on Sandslash if you want. But one advantage that Sandslash has for the moveset that Doryuzu doesn't is Doryuzu cannot learn Stone Edge, whereas Sandslash can. So it gives you a greater powered um, rock type move with Sandslash as opposed to just having to use Rock Slide with Doryuzu. So as I said before, there are advantages to both of these Pokemon, but Showing you Sandslash is kind of the point of this video since I already made a Doryuzu video, which you can check out on my channel easily. But obviously, Sandslash gets an amazing upgrade by being incredibly fast under Sandstorm this generation. And you can see that with Swords Dance in combination with these three attacking moves, it's very capable of doing a lot of damage to a lot of Pokemon your opponent may be holding. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, Sandslash is cool and awesome, so use it, but that's pretty much it, guys, so take care, and goodbye.